We're here on the floor of the 2016 Detroit Auto Show in Ford's booth, taking a look at something from one of their partners. It's Corning. You may know them for the Gorilla Glass that sort of keeps your cell phone intact when you drop it, but they're actually taking that same technology and expanding it and using it in cars to make your windshield stronger. So what's interesting about Gorilla Glass is that there are three real cool things about it. For starters, it is stronger and more shatter resistant. We'll get to that later. It's also about 30% lighter. In a car that you're using a Gorilla Glass windshield, you can save about 10 pounds of weight, and that's gonna save you a little bit of fuel as you search for optimal efficiency. It's also a little bit optically clearer. Regular glass has sort of a greenish tint. The Gorilla Glass is a closer to a pure optical white when you look through it. Now, in order to demonstrate how strong Gorilla Glass is, we've sort of set up a couple of examples here. First, we've got the standard soda lime glass that's sort of in the car that you have right now. If I take it and I smash it, it does what you expect it's gonna do, and it shatters. We've got a nice spider pattern there. The next sample we have is the strengthened soda lime. This is what a lot of automakers are calling strengthened windshield glass. It's supposed to be stronger than the standard stuff. And if I take it and smash it, well, pretty much the same thing happens. You get a spider web pattern and it smashes predictably. Now we've got the Gorilla Glass sample. Now all three of these samples are the same thickness, 1.1 millimeters. Now if I take it and put it down on the pad and smash the crap out of it and it's not shattered at all. Those little divots you see are actually in the plastic sheath. It's really strong. We've also got two samples of windshield material. Here is the conventional windshield material. Here is the Gorilla Glass. They're both really strong, but the Gorilla Glass is a whole lot lighter. And if you look at the profiles, you see that it's also a whole lot thinner. And here we've got the actual, what's known as the Gorilla Glass layer. This is what adds strengthness to Gorilla Glass. You can see that this is where the actual impact sort of gets absorbed and spread out through the material. So the reason Gorilla Glass is strong is this very thin layer of material right here. It's pretty cool and very clear. Now to demonstrate exactly how strong this glass is in the real world, Corning set up this demonstrator right here. What they're gonna do is fire a hailstone, a little bit larger than a golf ball, at this piece of Gorilla Glass at about 50 miles per hour to simulate what happens if you get hit by the hailstone from hell while you're on the road. I'm gonna stand on the other side and hope I don't damage anything. <laughs> 